Hey, what is up guys? Chucky Tush, and today I'm doing um, episode number four of Profit from Scaling. Uh, today we're doing farming. Uh, there's a lot of different reasons people need farming. Uh, basically, just to get the cape, it looks cool. Uh, you can plant herbs for herblore, and that's what we're going to be doing today. You see my inventory. I have four toad flax seeds and four limp root seeds. Now, for to plant um, toad flax seeds, you're going to need 38 farm and limp root you're going to need 27 now there are four different patches we're going to be going to I'm only doing for herblore there is one more that you can get from my arms big adventure but I do not have that done and if you do have that quest done I would really advise you doing the farm patch because it never dies and you don't have to worry about compost or losing any profit on that so we're going to jump into everything right here my inventory I have a juju farming flask and this does increase uh, the amount of herbs you can get from a patch. Uh, Ectophile is a teleport to a patch. Uh, magic something. Uh, these increase farm yield by 10%. And these runes are just for my uh, fertile soil and my teleports. So, first of all, we are going to be teleporting to our dung. That's where the first patch is. And that's what we're going to be doing. Now, I only suggest doing either Toad Flax or Ranars because that's where you're going to find the most profit, especially in Toad Flax, because the one herb is more than the entire seed by double the price. So you won't worry about losing any profit at all during your farm run, and it does cover the limp roots if those die too. So once you get to Ardung, you're going to go to the east a little bit, and you will find a farming patch. And I really suggest that you get the... Uh, lodestone. Uh, limps, you're going to get three each one and 120 experience. So, here we're going to do a quick price check on this. You make about 2.4k each. You make about 2.4k each time you pick one and it does grow. Uh, those do gr take 60 minutes to grow, I believe. Crap, forgot to drink that. And I would really, you, I would see, um, you can pick two from each patch. Um, it's just increased farm yield, which um, is, it makes a big difference in your farming and how many herbs you get and whatnot. Um, even if you do use a juju farming potion, your limps will not grow. You will not get any more limps than what you originally get. You always get three. And if you want some more profit but less XP, uh, I would recommend doing marigold seeds. Uh, the marigold seeds are like 50 GP each, and marigolds. I think right now around 3k. I haven't looked just because of the EOC and everything's kind of crashing. Divines are at like 220, I think, and Ellie's are at 140. So great job, Jagex, but you know, nothing we can do about it. So we are at the second patch, and you use Ectophile. Make sure right when you get there, you let it refill, or you're gonna have to walk all the way back here by yourself, which really sucks. I've actually done that a few times, and it does suck a lot. I just, I'm kind of lazy, I don't feel like going back. So, if you do get a full inventory, don't worry about it. Just go ahead, and this leprechaun will note these for you if you just use it on him. And he does all the farming things. So, we're going to get back to that, and I got two from one, and we're going to use fertile soil on the patch and plant it. While using fertile soil, it does not matter um, when you put the compost in, you can put it in before or after, but if you are using a... Uh, bucket you're going to need to put it on first or it will not let you do it unfortunately now I'm using the Explorers Ring 4 which you get from the Lumbridge tasks you have to finish all of them in order to get the teleport to cabbage pat or the cabbage um, cabbage port every a you do not run out of things so it's really helpful and if you do have the Ardung Cape 4 you do not have to um, wait like with the uh, with the um what am I trying to say? With the Ardung Cloak 2, you can only do it once per day, but with the Ardung Cloak 4, you can do it as many times, which is actually very helpful if you're doing farm runs. I do actually need to get that, but some pretty high skills are required for it, and I don't really have the time to do it. So, um, right now we are at the Falador patch. You can either use the Cabbage Port or the Explorer's Ring 4, or you can use, or you can just teleport to Varrock and run here, or teleport to the Drainer Lodestone and just teleport here. Um, I just use the cabbage port ring because it's a lot faster and I get my run done faster. So let's go ahead and use that on that. And our last stop is going to be at the Catherby one. Uh, Catherby is by Camelot for those who don't know where it's at. And we're going to teleport there and right there. 
and it looks like all of my herbs and all of my um, things grew this time, which is really good. I didn't lose any money. So four, and we're going to go ahead, and this is going to be our last patch. And yeah. So um, before I end this guide, or before I end this video, I'm going to be talking about things um, I plan to do in the future with RS2 Money Making Guides. We are currently working on some series ideas and some um, competitive ideas that we can do with each other um, to make it more interesting, more fun. We're trying to make it so none of us have an advantage, which is kind of hard because my skills my skills are so much better than his are. Um, well, we're trying to figure out some things we can do with that and see um, how fun we can make it. Whoops, almost forgot the planet. Uh, how fun we can make it before um so it's not uneven or anything like that because that just wouldn't really create a point we were doing we were planning on doing a wildy run but i do have 87 agility and that would be unfair because i would be able to run so much longer than he can so all right so we got 40 this uh we got 40 this run so i'm going to go ahead and press check this really fast and i'm pretty sure okay so Right there, I'm going to pull up my, uh, oh, uh, seeds aren't even 1K now. So, four seeds would cost um, 3.9K, and we're going to price check one of these and just shove all these in here. So, we made uh, 107K just off that in a good hour. So, I mean, it's not, it might not, it might, ugh, it might not sound like a lot, but doing this every hour, every day can actually help if you do it. If you, get, if you can get 10 runs in a day, that's a mill. So you, we made some pretty good profit off that. We made uh, about 8K off that. So we made 115K in about 70 minutes. Uh, it does take Herb 70 minutes to grow, unfortunately. But that's about it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, today has been farming. Tomorrow I plan on doing smithing. I might do smithing today. I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet, but I need to think of some more videos to do so I don't run out of ideas for this. So thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and I'll see you guys later for my next video.